Hey, what's up? We're back. Um, this is like uh, Christian Fletcher music hour over here at the drop. Um, and we're busting out gang control, leftover crack. It's a, it's a nice, mellow, beautiful, relaxing, ska. Kind of ska, sultry mix that we like to do. You know, a little ambient flex mix. Um, and then after that, we had Street Fighting Man, the Rolling Stones. Classic, can't ever go wrong with the Stones. Um, and then we had Keep Your Mouth Shut by Terror, who's L.A. band, yeah? L.A.'s only good hardcore band. Yeah. The singer's from New York. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, there you go. There you have it. <laughs> um, yeah, so they were, uh, we're, you know, the music I play here sometimes is mellow, sometimes it's ripping your face off, but that's kind of surfing, right? It's like, you know, sometimes you're with your girl or with your, you know, family or something, cruising. Well, I don't know about Sometimes Christian. you stand up paddle, yeah, other sometimes. times you surf and dry reef in the middle of the night. Right, <laughs> right. So that's kind, of how, that's kind of how the music show goes, you know? You got to keep it, you know, you're not going to put on a little relaxing Bob Marley to go surf, you know, like... Uh, 12 foot chopu, you know, you go, you but go. at the same time, there's never a bad time for the stones. Yeah, that's true. Stones are always good. I used to hate my friend, uh, actually, I won't mention his name, but he's a cool dude. But he, his music choice is all mellow. We go to Puerto Escondido, be like freaking bombs coming in, like 10 foot back. Porto Escondido and he'd be like putting on like Julio you know relaxing that, and I'd be like I'd have to put my headphones on and get gotta pumped have, up gotta man. have headphones just ignore them Dude, yeah I just put <laughs> on some I'll talk to you later I put on my sugar or Slayer and be like Bruh! okay now I'm ready to go sir yeah I was just <laughs> listening to Slayer on my bike on the way down here yeah and oh it was pissed the new Slayer stuff like yeah. the, the few new records they got yeah are so pissed yeah and it's really sad that uh what Slayer uh, Jeff Hanneman, died, the guitar player, yeah. died, dude. Yeah. I've had two brown recluse bites. I'm lucky. Wow. Oh, see, so yeah, from a spider. Yeah, I yeah. one on my knuckle, one on my hip last year. Wow. They're brutal. Yeah, in California, they have this spider. I mean, Australia's pumped full of spiders. And Indo, luckily, doesn't have a lot of poisonous spiders. But in California, they have one called a brown recluse, and like your skin falls off. No, you get like, it looks like a tiny little whitehead zit. Yeah. And. It, it'll go away if you don't touch it, but yeah. it itches kind of. Uh. You go to pop it, and what that does is it spreads all the poison inside you, and oh. it's like flesh eating virus kind of right, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, within hours, it just starts swelling like up like a volcano, dude. Like it's it so crazy. It yeah. Ripping your skin, destroying your flesh. Yeah, and like you think it's staph at first. Right. So you soak it in hot water. Right. And that's the that wrong thing. That just makes it worse. Yeah, <laughs> it spreads through your whole body and makes you sick. You need to. Uh, you're supposed to ice it because oh. then it freezes the poison right. so it doesn't travel through your whole body. Oh, heavy. Yeah, I met a dude at the dog park in Venice that had this guy, this older guy, and his whole arm was just mangled. It looked like he'd gotten this gnarly bike accident, but he said it was a spider. I was like, oh, Yeah, that's the brown recluse. Heavy. I mean, the dude from Slayer died from it. Yeah, yeah. That was a friend of uh, Rocky. Rocky's playing ST, and he's... Uh, He's a big Slayer fan and friends with all those dudes, so R.I.P., man. Yeah, Fuck, that's too. heavy as stuff. Yeah, that's heavy as spiders could take you out. I was stoked. Like, I got to see uh, I got to see the Rain and Blood tour at the Palladium yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. with Motorhead. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, it was bad. That's brutal. Got a little lamb in Slayer. Yeah, Rain and Blood. Sick. Awesome. So, um, yeah, for the... For anybody, uh, you can uh, check out Christian Surfing. He's all over the, you know, he's all over everywhere. You can see him on. There's probably tons of YouTube clips of him Lots surfing. Lots of YouTube. And, I got a website. Yeah. yeah. ChristianFletcherSurf.com. Yep, yep. The Asterdeck website. Yeah. Asterdeck.com. Yeah, his family owns Asterdeck, and um, yeah, you can find out stuff. He's got a lot of cool merch too. He's got cool shirts. I got. And, and stickers well, no, and, uh, I just started riding for Ruka again. Oh, okay. And we're doing like a Christian Fletcher capsule with clothing. Nice. So he's going to need some, you know, jackets, shorts, and stuff like yeah. that. Some, some cool stuff coming out. I remember the old board graphics you had were freaking awesome. Just got, a, sick uh, just got that back together too with Timmy Patterson in collaboration. He's yeah. doing some Christian Fletcher models. Nice. And uh, he's got some going down here too as well with Bosky oh, there nice. in the bucket. Yeah. Some Christian Fletcher, Timmy Patterson models. Sick. So you yeah. might see some around Bali with some crazy. Graphics, the uh, the original graphics I have with the skull and the long hair yeah. waves. Well, it's the new twenty after twenty years after version. And there's yeah. no more hair. There's you know the skull has an army helmet with a broken horn and a pack of smokes, and there's an atom bomb <laughs> behind him with dolphins and nets with tape over their eyes and stuff. Oh, sick. oh yeah, sick. that's awesome. It looks the same from a distance, but you get a <laughs> yeah it's messed up. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know, uh, Timmy Patterson's sick shaper, um, San Clemente, yeah? Yeah, Timmy's, yeah. Timmy's grandfather used to sell 
balls went to my grandfather back in Honolulu during the Korean War, so my grandpa could go shape boards down in Waikiki. Right. He was one of the first original Howley Beach Boys down there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's how that's how deep uh, that's how deep the Fletcher legend is and Hoffman's, yeah. Yeah, Hoffman's. Your... Yeah. He was like 1950 and 51 tandem champion in Makaha as well. Sick. Big wave pioneer, him and his brother. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. So uh, now it's crazy. All these kids, like all the all the Padma boys, I went there yesterday with Christian. We were hanging out for a bit, but all the kids, man, like the Groms, they just like. I mean, almost before they can hit the lip, they're busting airs. I don't even know how, how it happens, but they're just like, I mean, the evolution of surfing is like crazy now. I, I think the kids, like, I told my kid, he was just learning how to surf. He's 22 now. But I was telling him, you need to learn how to ride your board first, learn how to surf before you start doing airs. Because right. it kind of messes things up when you don't learn how to surf first, because right. then you never end up learning how to surf. Right. right. You can do a couple tricks, yeah. but you don't know how to surf. Right. So. Once you learn how to control your board, then it's kind of simple, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm a firm believer in riding, being able to surf. Right. But it's really cool going down to the beach. And kids don't need to learn how to surf first because they learn it all, all at the same time, right, you know right. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But the older guys do, and yeah. it's cool going to the beach. You can go to the beach anywhere in the world and see kids do airs. And yeah. I, I love going down and watching the kids. Like, yeah. going with you to Padma for a couple of days, you know, yeah. and watch the kids. Yeah. It's really cool. I don't really surf down there, but yeah, I like yeah, watching yeah. all the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's cool that, uh, you know, yeah, like we were talking about, like, you know, if you're competing, surfing, or, you know, skating, whatever you're doing, you got to be well rounded. You got to be, uh, we had a pretty good conversation about that. Like, you got to be, you got to have it all. You can't just do airs. You got to be doing power hacks. You got to be able to pull in the barrel. You got to be able to, you know, you got to be well rounded. And yeah, like you were talking Chris about, and a kick flip. yeah, yeah, skating, same thing. You can't just do big, lofty ollies and shit. You gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta do all of it. And uh, and with surfing, you know, it's like we were talking about, like, yeah, you gotta be able to ride a longboard. You gotta be able to ride a fish, ride, you know, slop, barrel, you know, whatever it is, big yeah, wave. If you think you're ripping, you should be able to go out and be able to ride anything. Right. Yeah. Exactly. No matter what sport you're doing. Yep. And uh, if you want a little reality check for you guys that are just strictly shortboard monsters, get on a single fin, get on a you know, get on a longboard and just putt around and do the side slip boogie. Yeah, yeah, get get it out there and get some turns in. You know, it's a whole different, but it really helps your surfing. You know, and skating crossing over helps your surfing a lot too. You know, right, riding the longer board surfing really smooths out your style. My parents used to make me do it. Yeah, because I like to hop and flop right. and flip and yeah. whatever. But you ride a longboard smooths out your style right and it just teaches you how to ride a board like, right right i mean i don't care i'll ride anything i ride the stand-up paddle boards i've gone to mexico to ride in boogie board contest the freak yeah. fest down in cabo yeah. that's cool too you know like, yep I, I don't care i'll ride anything and i yeah. don't care what anybody has to say about it I'll yeah, run yeah. Them over. yeah yeah i'll run them over. i'll run you over I'm yeah a boogie board. it's like you see uh jamie like jamie on a he uh he pulls into giant barrels and shit but you'll see him like Who's in that? hawaii yeah. Jamie O'Brien, but you'll see, see him, you'll, you'll see him with the, he'll take boogie board out too, which is Who's cool. That? Jamie O'Brien. Who? <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Who? <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, I think that's cool. I mean, uh, you know, he, it's cool that a, a guy that surfs, um, you know, still gets out on boogie board. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I don't know. He's, well, he's been here before. He has? Yeah, I think. Oh. Yeah, somewhere around here. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, um, yeah. We're gonna bust into some more music real quick, and then uh, some blood for blood. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna yeah get a little blood for blood just to get the blood pumping for Saturday night, and then we'll be back. <laughs> 